Okay, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel, guys. What I'm going to show you is the script program for the simple tempered hot water system. Okay. Now, actually, uh, the someone is asking to write uh the program in a script. Okay, script rather than function block. Okay. So, but actually, so let me go to the full screen. Okay, to have a good view of our system. Okay. Sorry, I think that's some cold because of the weather here in the Philippines. Okay, now guys, this is the tempered hot water system. Okay, now this was created by my trainee. Okay, based on the approved sequence of operation. Okay, guys, so I have a small control panel here to simulate the input. So right now, pump command is stop, valve close. Okay, so then we have here system override. Now the system override is uh, is the scenario wherein we will override the system enabled, uh, the pump handle part status, just uh, it's like a manual override, just a single command that will enable the system. When I say enable the system, open this valve, okay, open this valve this two-way valve, then start the pump. So the hot water will be circulated to the area being served. Okay, then we have the system enabled. This is the system enabled. This is in the normal scenario. Then we have the operator enabled. This is the operator enabled where the operator can stop the system or disable the system. It is working. Then we have also the pump handle about the status monitoring. Then the run status. Three pan level switch. We have the three pan level switch to monitor if there is leak in the hot water tank. Okay, so we have a hot water tank here. And then inside is the heating element, which provide the tempered hot water. Now, guys, as you can see, uh, the system is not uh, what do you call this one? The system is not enabled. So what is happening? There is some animation here. There's some meaning. The pump or the booster pump that is trying to supply the domestic cold water is working. Okay, so we are we, we are uh, we are what do you call this one? Expecting that the booster pump is working. Okay. Then when uh let's say system enabled, so I will put the system enabled. I have a small control panel in my demo board. So I will enable, as you can see. If you will notice this one is off, then it will become on. So I enabling it. Now, if the system is enabled, what is happening? Uh, the valve will open, this two-way valve will open, then a cold water, a domestic cold water will be supplied in our tank. Then our heating element will start. Okay, now I think this uh, heater it has its own control. Okay, now the part of the uh, the part of the building management system is just to open this valve and start this, uh, start this pump. Okay, now as you can see, our command is pump command start. Okay, then even the pump is in manual status. Okay, then let, let's say I will put it in auto. Okay, now again, as I said, the the, the sequence of operation should be clear. Okay, once you are writing your control logic program, you have to base it in a approved sequence of operation. In this one, the sequence of operation is not very clear. Okay, so anyway, but if the pump is not in auto, we are just uh, raising an alarm, not in auto alarm. Okay, but we are turning it on. Okay. So let's say I put it to remove that alarm, this alarm. So I need to put the pump in auto. Okay. So okay. So pump hand of auto is on. Uh, it should be auto status. To make it clear, it should be pump auto status on. Okay. So it maybe you can change this to auto or hand. Okay. So it will be clear. Now, okay, then. Uh, the scenario if you want to if you want to simulate a uh, leak scenario we, then we need to where's my leak okay i will demonstrate a leak so i have an up here the level switch meaning is not 
activated. So when there's a leak, it will be activated. So let me okay, let me focus this one here. Leak. Okay, we have a leak. Okay, so what happens here? Uh, our control stops this or close the pump. Then we stop the pump. Okay. So that is the scenario when there is leak. Now what happens if leak is no longer there? Okay, so what is happening? So this one, uh, so there is still some problem here. When there's no more leak, what will happen to the system? Yes, yeah, system enable on, operator enable. I will say operator enable. Okay, again, uh, we try to, when I put the operator enable to true, then again, the system works okay now actually uh there should be a clear scenario to be able to uh, base your script program okay so this is just uh how i'm trying to simulate the system based on the scenario given to us and of course based on the script program written by my trainees okay so i think i need to uh inject some uh control scenario here let, let let's say if there's a leak of course what will happen is we will try to uh stop or disable the system then we have to uh raise and leak alarm okay so leak alarm there then there should be a reset if it is reset then that's the time the system will work okay maybe i will ask my guys to work on this one now the next part of this is to show you the script program okay so again this is just to simulate the operation of this tempered hot water system based on a different scenario okay so once again uh, thank you for uh, watching let me go out of the full screen so i can so before I will stop this tutorial, thank you very much for joining me and for subscribing and becoming a member. So before I end, God bless us all. God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.